As Joseph grew older, he found a job as a hunter. He was familiar with the forest and knew how to take care of himself while finding the best animals to hunt. However, he didn't realize that his deep affection for the wilderness would lead him to a life-changing situation. It all began on a typical day when Joseph woke up early and went into the forest to start his hunting. Some people had requested meat from him, and he also needed to replenish his own supply. So Joseph entered the forest with the intention of catching a large amount of game. As the morning progressed, the sun cast a magical light on the forest, filling it with a surreal glow that amazed the hunter. When it was around noon, Joseph decided to take a break and have some lunch. He had already managed to catch a few birds, so he chose to cook one for his meal. Although Joseph was in an unfamiliar part of the forest, he wasn't afraid because he could always follow his own footprints back to the village. Ahead of him, there was a lot of brightness indicating a clearing where he could rest comfortably. However, as Joseph stepped into the small opening, he discovered something completely unexpected. Right in the center of the clearing stood a tiger. Joseph was terrified and couldn't move. The tiger had obviously heard the hunter's approach and was looking directly at him as he emerged from the trees. But despite taking Joseph by surprise, the tiger didn't appear to want to harm him. In fact, the majestic cat was behaving very calmly. Joseph quickly pointed his gun at the wild animal, taking advantage of its actions. However, the tiger stood still and stared at him. Joseph was unsure of what the tiger wanted and didn't want to harm it without reason, so he slowly lowered his gun and approached cautiously. The tiger growled softly and moved back as Joseph got closer. He noticed that the tiger was a female with babies nearby, as he saw teats indicating she was nursing. He also observed that she was limping, which meant she had an injury. Worried about the well-being of the tigress, Joseph softly called out to her. She became calm and allowed him to get near. As Joseph approached, he realized that her injury was worse than he initially thought. A gunshot had caused a serious infection. Even though Joseph wanted to help, the tigress kept him away by growling. Surprisingly, she turned and walked towards the edge of the clearing, stopping near the trees. Joseph heard small cries and growls, it was her cubs. She picked up one cub, limped back, and placed it at Joseph's feet. Then she repeated the process with the second cub. Confused and amazed, Joseph didn't know what the tigress wanted him to do. Afraid of how she might react, he hesitated. She began to walk away, but he tried to stop her. She looked back one last time before disappearing into the wild woods. Shocked, Joseph realized that the tigress wouldn't leave her cubs unless she had no other choice. He feared she knew her time was limited and wanted to ensure their survival. Determined not to leave the young tigers alone, Joseph carried them and took them home to his village. Joseph brought the cubs to a veterinarian. They were healthy, and he received guidance on how to care for them. Over time, the cubs named Sasha and Alexei grew bigger and stronger. The city zoo offered money to buy the tigers, but Joseph refused because he felt it would betray the trust of the tigers. Eventually, Sasha and Alexei were ready to return to the wild as capable adults. Years later, Joseph went back to the clearing, and a grizzly bear charged at him. He panicked when he realized he had left his gun behind. Suddenly, Sasha and Alexei appeared, moving so fast that they were like a blur. They protected Joseph, fought the grizzly bear, and drove it away. After ensuring Joseph's safety, the tigers disappeared into the trees, leaving him filled with joy seeing them thriving in the wild. Dogs are good friends of human beings, but due to various reasons, there are still a lot of stray dogs on the street. They are homeless and hungry. Hey, try to keep them from starving. What kind of reaction will the dog have in the face of being fed by a kind person? Netizens were deeply moved by the behavior of the dog in the video below. It was a cold day, and a woman drove to a nearby park for a walk. When she was about to stop, she saw a puppy running behind her car under the dim street lights. The dog's hair is beige, and it looks well-behaved and sensible. Maybe it was because I was hungry and I happened to see the woman, so I ran towards her car. 
So the woman stopped the car and poked her head out of the car window to see the puppy. I saw it quickly ran up to me without any fear. It's more like an old friend who hasn't seen her for a long time, eagerly greeting her. So the woman opened the car door, and the dog jumped happily, raising its two front paws and wagging its tail to bow to her. Seeing the dog like this, the woman thought to herself that it might be hungry, so it bowed to beg for food, and she couldn't bear it. So I went to a nearby store and bought ham and milk. And the dog has been waiting beside her, revealing full of eagerness at the same time, like a child waiting for candy. The woman opened the package of ham sausage, broke it into pieces and fed it. The dog must be very hungry at this time, but when faced with the food given by the woman, it was not impatient and ate very politely, wagging its tail to thank the woman while eating with relish. After feeding the dog, the woman poured the milk into a bag of paper cups for the dog to drink. After drinking the milk, the dog is not noisy, very docile and well-behaved, and very sensible. What surprised the woman was that the dog was moved to tears after eating the food she fed. People can't imagine how much it suffered in the wandering days to be so sensitive. Animals also have feelings. The warmth and coldness of this world, they also experience profoundly. Finally, the woman touched its head. The dog didn't refuse either, but just stood quietly in front of the woman and let her stroke her, his eyes were very gentle, and he was a little at a loss. A stray dog can get help from a woman. No matter what the future holds, it must be very satisfied now. When the woman left, it didn't chase the woman's car again. He just stood there quietly, his eyes full of gratitude, reluctance and loss. Perhaps it is very aware that it is a stray dog and has no home to return to, so it is very grateful to be able to get help. However, the dog waits for the woman every day. The woman saw that it was very pitiful and very human, so she decided to adopt it. So the woman took it back home, so that it would no longer live a wandering life. Dogs are very emotional, so don't think that they can't feel emotions, especially stray dogs. They are often very grateful if they find someone willing to adopt them. The two dogs below were lucky enough to meet kind people who often feed them. After they get help, they also return to the owner. After the two dogs were fed by a kind man, they not only ate well, but also got their own names. The big one's name is De Huang, and the small one's name is Xiao Huang. Because they both have golden hair and easygoing personalities, the two guys have a good time all day long. Dogs are very friendly and loyal to people. After being fed by a kind man, De Huang and Xiao Huang are grateful and accompany the man to send their children to school every day. After sending the children to school, De Huang and Xiao Huang will also go home with the man, spending warm daily life with him. The man also likes these two dogs very much, and he knows their temperament clearly. He said that Xiao Huang is smarter, and every time he escorts his children to school and on the way home, he will take the initiative to hitch a ride. De Huang is more simple and honest, let him get on the electric car, he doesn't want to get on it, every time he follows the electric car and runs all the way home. The man didn't know whether to laugh or cry, so he respected De Huang's meaning, just let it lose weight. It seems that since having these two stray dogs, the man's life has become more interesting. If the man encounters something unhappy, the Huang and Xiao Huang will also run over to comfort him, their eyes full of concern. For a while, the man was frustrated at work and his condition was not very good. De Huang and Xiao Huang also seemed to feel his depression, and they took the initiative to come to him, eat with him, walk with him, or wag their tails and smile at him, hoping that he would feel better. And when the man wanted to go out, De Huang and Xiao Huang would also be reluctant to part with them, with worried faces, staring at the direction the man was leaving, standing where they were for a long time, unwilling to leave. The man also felt sincerity and warmth from the two dogs, relieved his depressed mood, and got used to their company in life. The two dogs are usually inseparable from the man, and Yu Qi will accompany him to send the children to school and go home with him every day. Although the man said that De Huang was fat, the food he fed did not decrease. 
De Huang and Xiao Huang have accompanied the man for a long time. They have been doing their best to repay the man for feeding him. Under the kind care of the man, De Huang and Xiao Huang also had a sustenance in life. Perhaps, they have gradually forgotten those days when they were wandering. Because of loving and being loved, De Huang and Xiao Huang's inner happiness is overflowing on their faces, which shows that they are very contented. Stray dogs have experienced too much, and it is a kind of luck to meet people who love them. They are always extra grateful and sensible. This is the case with Rubar, Xiao Huang, and the dog who can only bow and beg for food. Although dogs can't talk like humans, such affection and sincerity are easier to see in the eyes of dogs in most cases. Whether it is a pet dog or a stray dog, once they identify you, they will usually do everything they can to give you everything. Dogs are really very spiritual animals. Not only are they full of love for their owners, but they also have many rich feelings in their hearts, but they cannot express them clearly in human language. However, although dogs can't express, they will naturally show gratitude when people treat them with kindness. Because the sincerity in the heart cannot be concealed, the dog will even shed tears for the feeding of the person, and will repay it with practical actions. For example, helping people relieve their mood, bringing happiness, and protecting people's safety, etc. Dogs are constantly thinking about people and hoping people don't let them stray. On a small town farm in Morocco, there was a 65-year-old farmer named Salim. Growing up, Salim's parents instilled in him a love and respect for all animals, and he spent much of his childhood around livestock, horses, and pets. Of all the animals he grew up with, horses were undoubtedly his favorite. Salim would wake up early every morning and rush to the stables to care for the horses. He would brush their coats and manies, and the horses would neigh with excitement whenever they saw him. Salim inherited the farm and its traditions when his parents passed away, and he continued to care for the animals, both healthy and sick. He made a point of rescuing the so-called broken animals that no one else wanted, and he had saved many farm animals from being put to sleep for one reason or another. One day, something incredible happened on the farm. A horse had passed away, and the other horses seemed to sense it. One horse in particular began to step on the coffin, and when the lid broke, everyone was shocked to hear something crying. This event reminded Salim and those around him of the incredible bond that exists between animals and humans, and how animals can be so much more perceptive than we often give them credit for. Animals are truly amazing creatures, and we could all learn a thing or two from Salim's love and respect for them. Salim was a farmer who had a deep love and admiration for horses. He had many of them on his farm, and whenever they were outside, their glossy coats created a stunning sea of beauty. When Salim was 48 years old, he encountered a very special horse. While he was out selling horse feed, he overheard a client talking about putting down a young foal. Immediately, Salim's heart broke for the poor animal. He learned that the foal's mother had passed away, and the foal was likely sick with whatever had afflicted the mother. The newborn foal was weak and skinny, and the buyer had little hope that it would survive. The owner of the farm was not interested in caring for the foal, and was considering putting it down. Salim was shocked and saddened by the owner's indifference. He asked to see the foal, and when he did, his heart melted. Despite the foal's pathetic appearance, Salim saw a spark of life and potential in its eyes. He knew he had to save the animal. When Salim asked to buy the foal, the owner was taken aback. They couldn't understand why anyone would want such a weak and sickly animal. But Salim saw the foal's beauty and potential, and he knew he could nurse it back to health. Despite the odds, Salim took the foal home with him and gave it the love and care it needed. In the end, the foal survived and thrived, proving once again the incredible resilience of animals and the power of compassion. Salim had a large collection of horses on his farm, all with luscious, glossy coats that gleamed in the sunlight. He had always been intrigued by these majestic creatures and found beauty in everything they did. One day, when Salim was 48 years old, he encountered a special horse. While he was selling horse feed, he overheard a customer talking about putting down a young horse. 
Selim was horrified to hear this and immediately ran over to the customer, asking him to elaborate on the situation. The customer explained that the horse that gave birth to the young foal was very sick and had likely passed on the illness to her offspring. The newborn foal was weak and sickly and would probably die in a few days. The customer was struggling to take care of it and was considering putting it down. Salim's heart immediately went out to the poor animal, and he asked to see it. When he saw the foal, he was heartbroken. It was skinny, weak, and barely able to see, with a sad look in its eyes. Salim was upset with the owners for not caring for the animal properly and not giving it a chance to live. He asked if he could buy the foal from them, and although they were surprised, they agreed to sell it to him. Salim quickly loaded the foal onto his truck and took it to his farm on the outskirts of town. He called a veterinarian to come and examine the foal, even though he was familiar with caring for horses himself. The vet advised that Salim bring the foal to his center for treatment. Salim was determined to do everything he could to help the foal survive, even if it meant driving several miles to the vet. After examining the foal and running some tests, the vet was pessimistic about its chances of survival. The foal was so weak and sickly that it was unlikely to make it past a few months. However, Salim was determined to give it the best possible care and attention for as long as it lived. He was prepared to pay for any necessary medical treatment and give the foal all the love and attention it deserved, no matter how short its life might be. After Salim took Kala home, he worked tirelessly to ensure the young foal was comfortable and happy. Despite the veterinarian's grim prognosis that Kala would likely not live for more than a year or two, Salim was determined to provide as much care and attention as possible, no matter how short Kala's life might be. Salim even gave Kala a name, and the two became inseparable companions. Kala grew into a stunning and majestic horse, defying everyone's expectations. Over the years, Kala developed a special bond with Salim, following him everywhere and gazing at him with adoration. Salim often joked that he had cared for Kala so intensely that the horse had no choice but to stay alive and healthy. However, Salim eventually became ill, and his health deteriorated to the point where he could no longer tend to the animals on the farm as well as he once did. His wife and children took over the farm work, with Salim supervising as much as he could. Despite this setback, Kala remained a devoted friend to Salim, with an intelligent gaze and a beautiful soul that anyone could see. In the evenings, Kala would gently trot to Salim's porch, where the two would spend time together. They even began doing this in the mornings and evenings. Tragically, Salim suffered a heart attack while working in his garden. Salim was deeply loved and respected by all who knew him. He had a special bond with his horse, Kala, who he had rescued from a farm when it was just a sickly foal. Over the years, Kala had grown into a stunning and majestic animal, who was always by Salim's side. Sadly, Salim fell ill and could no longer tend to the farm as well as he used to. His wife and children took up the job, but Kala remained by Salim's side, spending evenings and mornings with him on the porch of their home. One day, Salim suffered a heart attack while tending to his garden and passed away, leaving his family and community in shock and mourning. As per their customs, the family began the burial rites for Salim, carefully washing and wrapping him in burial cloth before placing him in a wooden coffin. On their way to the burial site, they were surprised to see Kala chasing after them, having broken free from his stable. Despite the farmhand's efforts to stop him, Kala charged towards the crowd gathered at the burial site. Everyone scattered as the powerful horse approached, but Kala made his way to the coffin and began aggressively stepping on it. Although the horse did not mean any harm, the situation was hard to control. Suddenly, Kala kicked off the lid of the coffin and started sniffing inside, causing everyone to be stunned. After a few moments of silence, crying could be heard coming from inside the coffin. In a small town, there was a farm owned by a man named Salim. He worked tirelessly to ensure that his animals, including a horse named Kala, were comfortable and happy. Despite the vet's initial doubts about Kala's health, the horse surprised everyone by living a healthy and vibrant life for five years. Kala was deeply attached to Salim and followed him around everywhere. 
Selim joked that he had taken such good care of Kala that the horse had no choice but to stay alive and healthy. Unfortunately, Selim fell ill and could no longer tend to the farm as before. His family took over, but Kala remained a unique presence on the farm, with his intelligent eyes and beautiful soul. In the evenings, Kala would trot over to Selim's front porch and lay down beside him. They developed a routine of spending time together in the mornings and evenings. Tragically, Selim suffered a heart attack while working in his garden and passed away. His family began to prepare for his burial, but Kala became agitated and managed to break out of his stable. He charged towards the crowd at the burial site, causing everyone to scatter. When he reached the coffin, he began aggressively stepping on it until the lid broke off. To everyone's amazement, they heard crying coming from inside the coffin. Selim had not passed away after all but had fallen into a state of catalepsy, mimicking death. Experts believed that Kala's bond with Selim had allowed him to detect that his owner was still alive and prevented him from being buried alive. It was a heartwarming story of an incredible relationship between a horse and his owner. It left a deep impact on the family and friends of Selim, who were moved to tears by the experience. The story also reminded people of the power of love and the unexpected ways in which it can manifest. The dog kept digging a grave, and the dirt covered its body, but it was unmoved, like a tireless machine, it just wanted to dig up the damp and dark soil. What it did next broke the hearts of those who saw it. Dogs are one of the most loyal animals on the planet. No matter what happens, they will support you, share you through thick and thin, encourage you in difficult times, and celebrate the good with you. When the owner leaves the dog first, the dogs are at a loss, because it is difficult for them to understand, where is their owner? Why did it suddenly disappear? Like this heartbreaking story below. This story happened in 2019, in Fuping County, Shangxi Province, China, a 12-year-old dog named Huzi, whose owner has lived in this province all his life. The owner of the dog is an old man affectionately called Grandpa Wu. When Huzi was two years old, Grandpa Wu met Huzi. The old man immediately fell in love with this lively and lovely animal and brought him back home, the two spent ten years of good time together. They are as close as a family, they like to go for walks in the park together, and in the evening, one person and one dog often sit on the sofa and watch TV. In addition, this cute puppy will sleep on the owner's bed every night and never leave, as if acting as a guard on duty, forbidding anyone or anything that wants to hurt Grandpa Wu to approach. Huzi and Grandpa Wu are very close. Even the love between people may not be like Huzi, because Huzi will never get tired of Grandpa Wu, nor will he rebel and want to leave Grandpa Wu's side. The dog was originally born on the street as a stray dog, which is not uncommon anywhere. In every corner of the world, there are countless stray animals every day, and people seem to have become accustomed to these homeless animals. Some people keep pets just to find a companion who can give them love and comfort when they are lonely. Unfortunately, when they get rid of loneliness or start to tire of their pets, they will be irresponsible. Ditch them and let them fend for themselves in the streets. Unfortunately, Huzi is one of them. His mother was a loyal and loving dog who was once raised by his own family, however, when the family moved out he was abandoned as they moved to a new home where no pets were allowed. The poor dog ended up pregnant and did what she could to feed her litter, but sadly one day she was hit by a car and died. Huzi, although it didn't have this name at that time, it quickly became familiar with the roads on the street and how to find food. But not every time there is ready-made food, in order not to starve itself, it must beg some food that can satisfy its hunger from humans. Every time it ventures out onto the street, it tries to get as much attention as possible from passers-by by rolling in the street, yelping, or leaning on their lap, hoping someone can bend over to it and stroke their own little head. At this time, Huzi doesn't know that its behavior will change its whole dog life. In fact, it just wants to survive. This was an ordinary day, and Huzi, as usual, went on the road after waking up, looking for food on the street. When it passed a small park, it met Grandpa Wu who was sitting on a nearby bench feeding ducks and bread. Huzi approached the old man slowly, 
hugged his feet, and begged for some bread. Grandpa Wu immediately noticed this new kid, and felt very sad for a moment. Because he was so thin, his hair was full of fleas, he was messy, and he looked very ugly. However, Grandpa Wu did not drive the dog away. He broke off a piece of bread and gently handed the bread over for the dog to eat. Huzi quickly ate up the bread, but this little food could not fill his stomach at all, because he had been hungry for a long time. Seeing that Grandpa Wu didn't seem unhappy, Huzi began to beg for more. After sharing the whole loaf with the dog, Grandpa Wu felt that he couldn't just leave the puppy alone. Instead, he gave the dog a hug and encouraged it to walk home with you. After returning home, Grandpa Wu named the dog Huzi, and officially adopted it as his new pet. Huzi couldn't believe that someone would give him a home, he was happier than ever and the two soon got used to the routine. However, one day ten years later, misfortune came quietly. After ten years of good time together, the old man fell ill and his family tried to get him to the local hospital for treatment, but the illness was so severe that no one could stop the passing of life and grandpa passed away. After the death of the old man, Huzi's personality completely changed. The once lively and lovely dog became extremely depressed and even did not eat or drink for three days in a row. When the poor horse was trapped in the swamp and unable to escape, she began to cry and lost hope. Just like humans, horses have different personalities, with some being cautious and cautious, while others are bold and carefree. This wild horse belongs to the latter category. This horse is famous for its adventurous spirit and beauty. One day, Philly saw a squirrel in the distance and chased after it. She had already left the forest until she far exceeded the tree line. It wasn't until she realized how far she had gone that on her way back to the forest, unfortunately, something happened and she fell into a swamp. Philly began to feel panic and had to do her best to keep her head above the muddy water surface, determined to step out. She kept trying to crawl out, sometimes it seemed like she was finally about to break free, but she was always pulled back by her own weight. Just as she was about to give up, the horse saw a man walking up to her and trying to push her with his elbow, but she couldn't move. She tried to move, but she kicked the heavy mud for several hours and was exhausted. When the man couldn't make her move, he turned and walked away. The little horse felt her heart sink like a wave. But her story is not over yet. Daryl is a farmer who has been raising horses for many years, and he is also a passionate horse enthusiast who always makes extra efforts to ensure the safety of his favorite animals. As a person who has spent a lot of time nurturing horses, he can tell Philly that she was exhausted while trying to get out of the swamp and she needed help quickly, otherwise she might not be able to survive. Glover walked to his farm as quickly as possible, and thankfully, the farm was not far from the swamp. Then, he drove into the city and gathered some family and friends who happened to be members of the organization. They rushed to the scene as soon as possible, and Daryl and two other people worked together to tie some heavy straps around the horse's neck. Then they tied the straps to two SUVs, trying to use the vehicle's power to slowly pull her out of the mud. Philly seemed to know that they were initially trying to rescue her. Quickly, when the horse saw that she was about to leave the swamp, half of her body was covered in mud. She used her last strength and kicked her hind legs. After several hours of effort, these people finally rescued her from the mud and took her to a safe and dry place. The tired animal lay on the ground for a few minutes before she could stand up again. When she stood up, people cheered and wiped the mud clean with gentle cushions. She is still very hungry. She lowered her head and began hurting. Rescue workers watched as the horse's powerful jaws and teeth crushed food into small pieces while chewing and swallowing. They watched her eat with astonishing speed and enthusiasm. With every bite, she seemed to become more powerful and her feet became stronger. Now she had regained some strength, and they hoped that she would run into the forest and forget about that terrible experience. However, the Philadelphia people did something extraordinary that melted everyone's hearts. She walked up to meet Daryl Glover, who was standing next to his car. She looked at him with smart eyes, then lowered her head to meet his gaze and held it for a moment, 
as if the horse was thanking him for coming to save her, the farmer was startled by this gesture and reached out to touch her horse at that moment, establishing a connection between the farmer and the beautiful Philadelphia people. After that surreal but very brief moment, the horse turned and galloped towards the forest. Daryl watched her leave with tears in his eyes. He was happy to save this beautiful horse and grateful to share a happy ending with her that he would never forget. The bear cub was in trouble, but it was amazing what the horse did. In Russia there was a mother bear and her cubs trying to swim across a icy lake. A horse is grazing with his spouse or friend and they stand together when they want to rest. One reason is that by standing together with their noses toward the other horse's tail, their mates can keep flies away from their heads, which would be very troublesome if the flies were to lay their eggs on the face or front legs. The fly will usually rub its mouth with the inside of its knee, then fly up and aim at the horse's head. Every time these offended insects pass their mates to lay eggs, the horses jump. A horse can rest its head on the other's rump, or rub its mate's rump against the bitten jaw. Another reason why horses stand so close to their mates is that one horse stands nose to tail and can observe the other horse's tail, which means that each horse can have a 360 degree viewing area, if anything that tries to get close to this pair of horses, they can be prepared. Because one horse's reaction immediately sends the message to the other, it's a survival tactic, and the pair bond by caressing and scratching each other's necks, which is obviously very enjoyable for them. If you scratch this area of your own horse, you will notice that its nose twitches on top of its lips. All horses are pretty much trying to find a mate to scratch each other, and the mate bond is so strong that if one of the pair is taken away, the other will become very disturbed. Mares, especially stud farm mares have demonstrated this many times, a horse is very picky about its mate. Even with alternate mates, the new pair may never bond. When there are three horses, one horse will always have to stand a small distance away, because pair bonding occurs only between two horses. The life principles of horses can remind you of the growth of people. They have the principles of adventure, self-discipline, integrity, correct values, and empathy. They also have the ability to reflect on problems, super insight, focus, and compassion, these complete things are even beyond my ability. But just like in life, there is no escaping misfortune, depression, anxiety, loss, disappointment or pain. In fact, some would argue that comparing yourself to a strong but weak animal in the struggle of life is a foolish decision. Of course, this point of view is hard for someone who doesn't love horses or other animals to understand. Overall, I think the key point here is that the benefits are worth the risk. There is no stronger bond than the love between a mother and her child. However in this story this mother bear and her cub will amaze you that love knows no boundaries and when the cub is desperate and in need of help the mother will do everything she can to sacrifice herself for the child she loves. Animals hurt other animals not because they enjoy hurting other animals, but because they need food for their own and their offspring's survival. Nature has prepared for each living thing what they need to survive. The same applies to humans, that is, if we maintain a balance with nature, then the rest of nature will also exist in harmony. To us it seems like other creatures are maliciously eating each other, but we need to understand that no predator consumes more animals, plants or even substances than necessary, they all get according to their needs, only we humans want to enjoy from getting more for ourselves than we need. Nature is amazing because a loving God created it and God calls nature the creator. God loves his creation, including humans, and he obviously loves plants and animals of all kinds, as numerous as the stars in the universe. Out of a trillion trees, no two are alike. Despite her optimism, the mother bear soon has to face the harsh reality that crossing the lake is difficult because she is naturally stronger and a better swimmer than her two cubs. What she does next goes against our basic beliefs about parental instincts. This is a heartbreaking story where we are told that love has no boundaries and that it can take many forms. In fact, there is no stronger bond than the love between mother and baby. When it comes to the love between mother and child, sometimes we are surprised by the behavior of those who think of themselves, and sometimes we are surprised by the behavior of those who think of others. In this case, 
True love knows no boundaries. People traveling through the forest are often warned about bears, which are huge and possess incredible strength, especially when a mother bear is protecting her young. One person decided to take the risk, and this is what happened in the largest freshwater lake in the Republic of Karelia, when the temperature of the lake can be as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius, which, combined with its vastness, makes it difficult for animals to swim through it, and humans can simply avoid the lake in winter. Animals don't really have a choice, no matter how powerful an animal is, sometimes they have to come out and find food. A mother bear and her two cubs were starving, so she decided to take a gamble and cross a lake. The mother bear started to cross the lake, but she made a small mistake. She knows how to swim, but her cubs don't. Cubs usually learn to swim through practice, but these cubs are too young to swim and have no ability to swim across this dangerous lake. The mother bear just kept swimming while her cubs were stuck in the middle of the lake, even though her cubs were struggling, the mother didn't go back to help them, she just kept swimming, which could be heartbreaking, or she would survive, or the three of them would be frozen in the lake. While it seems as if she knows her pups will be fine, not only is the lake incredibly cold, it's also notoriously dangerous, and even specialized boats can't float in the lake during a storm. After a lot of struggle, the mother managed to reach the shore, but the cubs got stuck in the middle of the lake and their condition went from bad to worse. Bears are intelligent creatures, but even in this case it is clear to the mother that there is nothing she can do, she cannot simply return to the lake, and her babies lose their strength very quickly. Luckily, they managed to find another way out of their predicament, and the cubs struggled with what seemed like a glimmer of survival. There was a boat in the middle of the lake, and the people on board saw the plight of the little bear, and in order to save the poor animal from suffering, they acted quickly to see what they could do. The people on the boat soon reached the place where the bear was drowning, and they were ready to help the cub, but they didn't have an exact plan, they couldn't jump into the water, otherwise they might freeze faster than the bear. Of course, they travel to catch fish not bears, and if the boat breaks, they're all in trouble, so they start trying different methods to see if there's another way. Another problem, of course, is that nearby mother bears might come over to protect their cubs, and she might attack or capsize the boat. In addition, the cubs may also launch violent attacks. However, they don't have time to worry about this, or the cubs could die before they have a concrete plan. It was all filmed by a man with a horse who wanted to share the encounter with the world. At this point, a cub walked towards the boat, and the fisherman, working with the horses, tried to get it aboard. But this bear is too far away. Another fisherman started pulling out gear from the boat and trying to help it with it. Apparently, the two cubs knew that these people were trying to save them, so they started trying to grab the boat, and the fear that the other might be a threat to them was gone, and people started trying to help the cubs more seriously. Unfortunately, it's still not an easy task, and simply helping the cubs with their hands turned out to be of little help. So people got to work with their tools, they helped the cubs with their fishing nets which proved useful, the nets were able to support the weight of the cubs, and after they got the first cub in the boat, they tried to calm it down quickly. Another cub was heavier than the first, but was soon on board as well. The little bear was frozen and trembling. But the worst has been dealt with, and now they need to be put back to their mother. Since bears are not good pets, the farmer decided to return the cubs to their mother, but they didn't know which island they had to go back to in Lake Visurgo, and even after searching every island, they found nothing you know, the female bear disappeared. Eventually the people and the horses decided to place the cub in a place where the mother bear was most likely to be. At this point, the pup and human have formed a bond, although their interaction may be brief. The cubs are still weak but the farmer has no choice but to leave them on one of the islands and start leaving, yet people still feel like they did the right thing, saying goodbye to the cubs is not easy, maybe it's as easy as rescuing them in the first place. They were brave sailors who did the right thing. But it's important to remember that while bears can be violent, they usually stay away from people, so when these bears come to them for help, it's a sign of how dangerous they are. It's probably a good thing for them that the farmer doesn't actually see them reunited with their mother, and the cubs do end up reunited with their mother and quickly grow into mighty beasts. The bear is a noble beast, 
the horse and the people are great, they saved the cubs when they were in danger, thanks for watching, please like and share the video on social networks, we will get back to you soon.